John chapter 7 verse 13 says, Howbeit no man spake openly of him for fear of the Jews. I'd like to do a video quickly on that subject, just as a way to encourage the brethren out there. Um, something that I've gone through for many years is uh, this thing of people talking about me, about my ministry, and yet they won't name me. Now there's been plenty that have named me and said some very vile things about me. Um, and some have pointed out, you know, actual criticisms about me and I've had to change some things and say you know, they were right in what they said. So I'm open to criticism, certainly. But this weird thing that I have noticed that there are people that talk about me, but they will not name me. And, uh, you know, it's fellowship with the sufferings of Jesus Christ. And for that, I'm thankful. But it's, it's, uh, it's so weird to go through. And it kind of bothers me because of the hypocrisy of the lost world out there. You know, we have YouTube. It's about you and your creations that you make through video. And you can come here, you know, and, and the whole thing. And we're open to people's opinions and we tolerate other things. And, you know, and then they, they with their algorithms, they just bury a channel like mine. And, you know, my channel does really well for a while. And then I say the wrong things and the algorithms and the people at YouTube um, will just kind of suppress his channel. Why don't you just let me go and have free speech? And I, you know, I've seen the comment, you know, well, Brian, you delete people's comments and whatever, so you're not for free speech. No, I'm for free speech. I would never try to say, you know, your channel needs to be shut down or make your own channel, make your own videos. But if you're putting links to heretical stuff or using profanity in my comment section, then I'll delete you, certainly. Um, never understood that about people either, but uh, it's just kind of an odd thing to go through this. And it's funny because I've seen that my subscriber count on YouTube has been stuck for, you know, the longest time at 48,000 something. And I just think, okay, you know, and it's, it goes up a little bit and then it goes down and it goes up and it just won't go beyond about 48,300 something. And, uh, you know, I've been shadow banned. I've had, I don't know how many videos YouTube has deleted over the years. And now I answer for it. And again, this is an open uh, public rebuke of the people that are behind YouTube and those that have persecuted me as a Christian preacher. You will answer. There's a judgment coming for you and you will answer for what you've done. Don't think that you're going to get away with it. Um, just putting that out there. Uh, the people that wouldn't speak of Jesus Christ openly, the ones that put him to death, um, the Jewish Pharisees and Sadducees and scribes, they answered for what they did to Jesus Christ. And so will you people that persecute this ministry. And uh, now, like I showed one of my videos, Rumble is now actually deleting my video views. And so it's kind of a, okay, so now we're going with Rumble. Uh, so very strange um, to go through that and so uh, again I've said this many times before but I'll say it one other time and that is this ministry relies on God's people getting the word out uh, because the uh, computer people through YouTube through Rumble they're not going to promote my channel I count on you out there to do that share the links to videos um, one of the reasons I've been a subject matter preacher for so many years is because there's a lot of people that say, hey, what about, what does the Bible teach on this particular issue or whatever else? I try to answer that from the scriptures. So you get somebody and you're arguing or debating, send them the link to the video. Okay. Post, repost my videos on your channel. Um, go ahead. Although don't do that if you want to grow your channel because they'll more than likely shadow ban you then. Um, you know, and I know, you know, brother, it's supposed to be that way. If you know, you're, you're over the target, if you're doing this thing, I get it. I understand, you know, that's not the point of this video. I'm just simply saying that it's something that's just irritating to me. And, uh, if you've gone through it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's something that you need to expect, brethren. Uh, Christianity is not some practical 
wonderful thing that you just don't dare miss it. It's, you know, everybody loves you if you're a Christian or something. Don't ever fall for that uh, line of reasoning. <laughs> well, that's not true. Um, so, just thought I'd put that video out there. It's, it's been in my mind for a while. And um, yeah, I, I like to occasionally just spell out the sins of YouTube and just kind of occasionally just sort of say what they're doing. If I see that they're deleting views and deleting subscribers and blocking my channel from growing, then I like to say about it. I'm not going to just lay down and take it and let them walk all over me and and um, persecute this channel. It's not happening. So just wanted to put that out there. And um, you know, if you see anybody out there that's that's uh, talking about me without naming me. Put it in the comments of that video and just say, why don't you just name Brother Brian? You know, just from a, it does not about self-promotion or anything. It's just about name names. You know, don't be a coward. Don't, well, I don't want to say who it is or whatever else. You're not going to hurt my feelings or anything else. Name me. You know, and I've said this for years. And I'll say it one more time. Um, all these people, all these heretics out there that have made videos against me. Oh, Denlinger's a nut and everything else. Um, any one of them can send me a letter through the mail detailing where I'm wrong point by point and send it so that I have to sign for it so that you can know that I got it and then I will answer it in a video just that simple and if I don't answer it then you can come out and say Brian Nenlinger's a coward and whatever you want um, but it's far easier I guess just to make little YouTube videos and attack me and you know, show the address where I lived at in the past and whatever else. So, um, yeah. But that'll be it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We're going to have, just stay right there. I'm going to walk a little bit further ahead and I'll show you what Oliver's doing here behind me. Stay right there, I said. Stay right there. Listen. Little issue there. <laughs> Oh, Oliver's perfect. He doesn't do anything wrong. Uh -huh. um, it's a little hard-headed. Whoa, slip back there. A little hard-headed like his dad sometimes. Um, so, I'll show you what Oliver likes to do here in the wintertime. He's uh, quite the outdoors boy. So let me show you what he does, what he likes to do. All right. Come flying up here. There he comes. Now what is that thing called? A finca. A finca. Oh boy. Like a little wooden sled. And you put your feet on it, your foot on one side, and you can go zipping along. And okay? If you have um a Manamato, a husky dog, go the two, then they could pull it. They could pull it, yeah. All right, I'll tell you what, let's go. Let me see you here. I'll get this better in the field of view. All right, now, let me go this way. Turn this way nice and slow so I don't make people too sick. All right, go. Mush. Keep going. So there you have it. That will be it. Thank you very much for watching.